All right, everybody, welcome back to Make It Custom. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to brace any car for surgery. So we're actually gonna take my wife's 1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. We're gonna cut it up so that we can channel it or body drop it. So in order to do that, we are cutting so much of the car, we are basically cutting the car in half this way that we have to brace the body for that type of surgery. <laughs> Since I'm gonna be cutting the full floor, basically straight along the rockers, across the firewall, above the wheel wells, underneath the package tray, like the entire car is gonna get cut and the body is gonna be lowered around the frame and floor. This entire body will lose all of its structure. If you look inside the car, the floor along the rocker will be cut so it no longer will have anything to hold it from going side to side. So we're gonna to have to brace in between these two pillars. We're gonna brace in between these two pillars, A pillar, B pillar. We're also gonna cross brace to lock everything in place. We're losing an incredible amount of structure and we don't want anything to move. We don't want our doors to misalign or anything. Since we're cutting it, we're cutting the car in half. So, <laughs> camera trouble, let go of it. Pick it up, hit it again. Now it's with you. <laughs> All right. It's okay, she's figuring out the camera. In this car, it's a hard top. There is no pillar here as well. This window actually goes all the way down. So there isn't any structure in here at this time. And the reason being, holding this side of the car up, these big braces underneath here. So we're gonna wanna triangulate all of that to replace that strength. And when we tie a cross member across these two parts, I'm also gonna tie it up into the roof. There's a roof brace that goes along right above where we're doing this. So I'll tie from this roof brace down to our cross brace. So that's what I'm gonna start doing now. I'm gonna get a couple pieces in here and then we'll go have a look at the trunk and see what the trunk needs to be braced as well. Let's get to it. Right, now I'm just gonna build one diagonally across here. And then also I'm gonna brace this way as well. Make sure our door opening doesn't move. And because this brace is going between these two braces, my door will still open and close. I'm gonna go 72, 46 and a half. When you're tacking something like this, you want to make sure that your tack is a lot hotter of a weld than you would normally do to weld this thickness of material. The coldest part of your weld is always at the beginning, and since a tack is just the beginning of a weld, you got to crank it up to make sure that it burns. Good now, we do have to do a couple of pieces that will tie in the bottom of these B pillars. We're gonna do some diagonals this way, but we'll do those after we cut these braces out. The next pieces I'm gonna put, on, put in our vertical spots from here to here, like we talked about before, roof brace to here. That's next. The last thing I want to do is force a brace in and then weld it because it's going to add tension by pushing upwards. So once all this stuff releases, it would let that tension go. So when you're putting in a brace, don't make them too tight. Just make them fit nice so that nothing has pressure on it. All 
All right, so the trunk area is a different story. The way that we're cutting this car apart dictates what needs bracing in all areas, but especially the trunk. So right now, the trunk hinges are connected to these wheel tubs. These trunk hinges will be separated when we cut this car apart. These are under a bit of tension. They've got some, uh, they've got the spring still in them, as well as the wheel tubs are connected above to the fin here. So because all that structure is getting cut out, we're gonna have to create a frame to hold the shape of this trunk area. This itself is uh, is kind of flimsy. It's actually, it's just a single thickness of metal. So there's no bracing in here. We've got to create our own bracing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that angle iron from this trunk hinge to the back of this trunk on both sides. I'm also going to X brace, or sorry, cross brace that so that we've got a strong square to keep that exactly where it needs to be. And then from there, I'm going to decide whether or not we actually need further bracing to hold this lip up. We might actually, for good measure, run a piece from our square bracing inside here up to this lip, just to make sure that this trunk edge doesn't move at all. Just the slightest movement could raise or lower that lip. So we don't, we don't want any of that to happen. There's gonna be a lot of uh, bracing cut out of this car, a lot of the structure. Can't be too careful. I'm gonna cut those up right now. 42 inches. And I'm gonna need six inches. 42 and 50. Okay, let's get this first one on here. Okay, now we can brace it diagonally. These triangles are strong. Okay, I think I'm also gonna add a brace in between these two because I can see that there would be room for movement in there. 39 inches. Okay, nice and strong. Next up is gonna be this lip here. See even me just pushing on it I can move that around so that definitely needs a tie-in. wonder if anything else needs it. Nope, that should be good. That should be plenty. Eight and a quarter, maybe a bit of an angle on it. I'm gonna do an angled bar from this bar up here down diagonally to this inner corner gusset brace, I guess. And then I'm gonna do the same thing angled down to that same spot here. This brace diagonally down to this spot right here, here up to the brace, and then here across the door diagonally to right here. So door brace and inner brace. And I think that's all we're gonna need. It's my first time doing it, so We'll see how it turns out. About 47, 47 and 16.
All right, well that about does it for the bracing in the 1960 Cadillac. Don't think this thing can move anywhere once we cut this all up. We're gonna get to uh, doing the body drop next where I'm gonna actually map out the cuts and actually get cutting this thing. Hopefully, if you have a project that you need to add some structure before you remove it, you can kind of get an idea on how you'll be able to do that based on what you learned here today. We'll see you next time in part two of this Cadillac body drop. Take her easy.